Hi guys and girls. Right, something a little bit different. Uh, this is specifically for uh, those people that are doing anything with uh, inverters, power converters, etc. Uh, etc. Et what we have here is my UPS. This thing provides power to um, my PC, monitors, um, servers, um, network switches, router, etc. Um, in the event that uh, uh, the mains power um, is unusable. Um, it's an APC SU1400. It's an older model, uh, quite outdated these days, but it works good. So it's uh, 1.4 kilowatts. Not that I use it anywhere near its capacity, but uh, considering I had, a, had it apart for maintenance, um, uh, the reason I had it apart for maintenance was a couple of weeks ago had a uh, minor brown out on the mains, and uh, well, it decided to start squealing and uh, said there was a problem with the battery pack, which strangely enough there is. So, add it apart anyway, um, I thought I'd uh, walk you guys through it and just explain its operation. Uh, mains over here is 240 volts at 50 hertz. So, for your country, do the conversions. This thing, this great big black thing here, yes, using a non metallic object, and while I think about it, um, do not open a UPS unless you know what you're doing. Um, actually, come to think of it, don't even do that. Only if you're a qualified service technician should you ever open a UPS. Right, that's the legal crap out of the way. Right, this great big black thing here, look for the red pencil, right, is a transformer. This transformer has two primary the two primary windings and one secondary winding. How do these things work? Right, the first primary winding is for the inbound mains. That's the stuff that comes from your wall sockets. The second primary winding goes out to your uh, devices that you want to protect. The two primary windings are identical, right? uh, and in normal operation, um, the primary winding sets up um, the flux field around the transformer, which uh, induces voltage and current in the second primary winding for your, your devices to draw off. Right. Now, in a failure situation where the inbound mains is no longer usable. Relays at the front, which I'll show you in a bit, uh, cut the inbound supply to the transformer. At the same time, these transistors here start switching the supply from the batteries through the secondary winding. Right. So the secondary winding is 24 volts in this case which isn't always uh, the same. Um, some UPS are 12 volt, 24, 48. Uh, I don't think I've had, I've seen any above 48. Although 96 volts is entirely feasible. Then you start getting into dangerous realms then, but never mind. So, transistors make a 24 volt version of the sine wave through the transformer, transformer steps it up and out secondary to your devices. Pretty much simple. Let's have a look at the rest of it. You have the transistor heat sinks there. You can see two on that uh, plate. 40 volt DC capacitor, uh, 
can't see the UF rating, it's right underneath the cables in an awkward position. Controlled by a microcontroller, right here. If I can point it in the right darn direction. Anyone sick yet? Right, so let's start with that thing. Circuit breaker. Simple enough for the inbound power. There's the inbound power connector. Comes around to that connector there. And that one is the outbound for your devices. Big bundle there comes from the transformer. We have transformer, transformer there. Um, there for um, um, charging the batteries. You've got, I don't know, I can actually see properly from this angle, isolation, oops, there for the inbound, inductor for uh, getting rid of crap, that's on the mains, relay, 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 another isolation transformer, I think it is there, you've got a regulator at the back somewhere, along with COM port. That's pretty much, pretty much it. Um, those relays there are just for cutting power. Um, it also does a mode mode switch as well with those relays, um, because it can use um, lower voltages inbound and charge the batteries still. So basically, it's more of an active boost. Um, so even though transformer isn't being used if the mains coming in uh, especially 240 here say it's 190 it can use the active boost to charge the batteries while still supplying 240 volts output what can I say it's a smart UPS or at least it's smart for its time its design is simple not a lot to it um, the batteries that I've stuck on it um, are, I think it's 50% more capacity than what were originally there. Um, that's the original battery tray. Black crap there was the previous owners to me. Um, they had an acid leak. Um, but uh, when I looked at the pricing to replace four batteries, um, it was actually cheaper for me to buy two bigger cell, two bigger batteries. So I just simply wired them up. Connector at the front here. In that thing. That's a high amperage connector for the uh, batteries. Uh, batteries are connected by a 60 amp fuse. It's a big thing, that, that thing is. So, what could I say? You'd be tired of being up too much. Its operation is simple. Um, these days, we'll take a look at the circuit board here. Hold it nice and still for you. You can actually see all the surface mount components. <laughs> these days, uh, uh, most of that lot is done by a few chips. So thought I'd explain that to you and how it works um, hopefully it provides insight to someone um, remember um, opening up any mains device is dangerous do so at your own risk please don't kill yourselves um, if you want to kill yourselves I can find some more uh, creative ways for you <laughs> but I'm sure nobody does have fun, take care, and uh, well, I hope everyone's New Year's going as good as mine is. Talk to you later.